and welcome back. Um, my hair is crazy because it was crazy um, wacky Wednesday or crazy hair day something. Um, and this just gets my hair out of the way, so I'm just going to keep it in for the video. But today we have a bunch of Wrigley's gum wrappers. Yeah, it's a bunch of garbage. But anyway, what we're going to be doing is making a gum wrapper chain with a lot of these. So, and we're gonna do like a mini tutorial on how to make two links, which this person is going to do, because I have no idea how to. <laughs> and we're just gonna add on to them, so you talk. Okay, so first you fold the gum wrapper in complete half. Wait, no, we do the whole thing. Right? I know. Then okay. you open it. You make a crease. The crease okay. is good. Then you fold the one side into the middle to meet the crease. Then you fold the other side into the middle to meet the crease also. So it basically just looks like a regular, you know, piece of gum. Yeah, kind of. Then you fold it in half again. So it's like skinny. Very skinny. And long. Then you're going to fold it in half this way. What yours should look like by now is kind of like this. Then you open it up and you take the one side by before the crease and you fold that in half towards the crease and do the same on the other side, fold it towards the crease. Want to show it? Yeah. So what your link should... Well, you got to fold it in half. And then afterwards, what you should do is you have to fold the wrapper in half. And this is what one link should look like. It's very tiny. I have to fold it so close to the camera. And we're just going to how you do it is, hold on, I need to get a toothpick because it's kind of easy, easier to use it with a toothpick. I need to get it. You can use a toothpick. An optional tip is you can use a toothpick to pick at the little sides as you can watch other tutorials on how. But we're gonna make a bunch of chain links. And we're just gonna see how long it is at the end by using a tape measure. It should be around like a Almost a foot, maybe? Around, like, I don't know. Let's take guesses on how long it's going, it's going to be the chain. And uh, if you can, comment down below if you, if, for guesses on how long the gum wrapper chain is. And don't just skip ahead in the video and then just find out the real answer on how long it is and then comment down comment down. I want to see actually how how you guys guess it. And um, now we have three links. <laughs> <laughs> it's on the other side. Uh, this is long. It's a long journey. And since nobody likes this, just to watch this for a million years, Time lapse, three, two, one, go. Okay, so we're back and uh, we're gonna place the glass. Two legs on the chain. Now would be the best time if you haven't already. Comment down below and like and subscribe. And comment down below how long do you think the chain is going to be when we measure it. We're not going to measure it just yet. 
We're going to first figure out how many links are on the chain. And done. So, this is how long our chain is. It's not that long, but it's the size of my head, basically, I think. And then now should I think we should see how long it is. It's um no. nine inches no, long. Okay, you can show me. Bring it closer and hold it. It's okay. Nine inches. Inches, just about nine inches, and how many lists are I going to count? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight links. 28 gum wrappers also. And we still have more gum wrappers that can be added onto the chain when we're ready. So that's going to be wrapping up for today's video. Be sure if you haven't already, like and subscribe below the video and give a comment if you can. And see you guys in our next video. Bye!